record. Hi guys, it's Tuesday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's Katie with Helmar and today I am going to bring you a lovely um, layout simply distressed my way of distressing I think everybody has a different way of distressing and lots of additives um, lots of layering I love seeing those but it's not my style um, I like to add the touches of distressing but I don't like it's not that I don't like to do it it's I don't want to take the time to add all those extra layers um, and it's not really my style. So today I'm going to bring you a little bit of my way of distressing, simply distressing, um, on a cute layout. So I think if you've seen the post on Facebook, you saw this layout of my cute grandson. His name is Chase. And he uh, turned one in May and he patiently waited for his cupcake. So worth the wait, cupcake. You can see, um, I'm a little turned around tonight. You can see um, where I distressed the alphabets and I distressed the um, coordinations cardstock and I distressed the paper a little bit. So I'm going to work on the complementary page to that tonight, showing you some distressing and how I use some of my favorite Helmar products, my Siron tape runner my craft and hobby PVA glue love this this is what we're going to put the alphabets on with and my scrap dots I think anybody who's watched me before knows that I absolutely love scrap dots Zyron what about Zyron I'm, I'm going to miss the conversation a lot I have a hard time paying attention to both so um, Give me, give me a shout or a smack across the hand if I need to pay attention a little bit more. So I'm going to switch over so you're not seeing my face the whole time. You'll be seeing my hands working. Um, and we'll get going. So here we are with my... I'm going to make this work the best I can. I had to move this up a couple times and move around. I had to move, change my position today because our internet wasn't working quite right. So this is my grandson. I'm going to lift my camera up a little bit more just because I think you'll get a better visual of it. So sorry about that. We definitely um, need to have our internet checked again. So let's try this. Is this a little better? You can see down. Oh yes, that'll be better. Sorry for the little arrangement right now. Thank you for being patient. So we're going to get started. Thank you. We think he's really cute too. So I'm doing, using the same techniques from this page and we're going to be working on the next page. So worth the wait. Is this cupcake worth the wait? I don't know about you, but I think any cupcake is worth the wait. So I'm going to start with the products that I'm, I'm using. We have, I have two pictures and it's going to be pretty much mirroring this one. So we have this lovely picture of him actually eating his cupcake and this picture of him where we call him baby of the universe where he we would say Chase is baby of the universe and he was raised his hands up high. Well he did it with cupcakes. Isn't that fantastic? No, it's not worth the wait. Well, sometimes I think it is. <laughs> so I'm going to start with a base white cardstock. That's what I did with my other layout. And um, for my printed papers, I'm using Scrap and Sports and More papers, which I um, designed for them also. Um, and their new line has some really, really great new um, B-sides. So I'm using their B-sides to some of their prints. So I have... Um, these two pieces of Coordinations cardstock, they're fantastic. Um, this one is the Tim Holtz, and this one is the Glitter cardstock, and I'm going to use them both. And they both come in the 4.25 by 5.5, and, and I'm going to die cut with these. So I'm just going to start the base of my layout, and I'm hoping you can see it well enough. Okay. 
there we go over here so the bottom of my layout is just going to be two a strip of paper the green to match his high chair I like to color coordinate so while this is going to be a side-by-side -side layout I don't always match the papers so for this it's 10 inches wide and it was three inches high so I need to cut this one now and I just want to cut this this is a one and a half inch strip and I'm going to cut that with my Fiskars cutter and I want this to go all across the top by the time I'm done so I am not going to cut that into a 10 inch strip so I'm going to start with how I distress my paper hi Jess easily I have a distress it all by Zetter I prefer um, to use my scissors when I'm distressing because I find that I get more rips, unevenness, um, and not quite the same mess as you get with the distress at all. But it gives it a um, it gives it a different look, and it, I find that it has these lovely little tears. Sometimes I want to tear them off like this. Sometimes I leave them just folded back. I'm sure you've all seen this on many people's um, work. This is just my way of distressing the paper. And I'm just going all the way around and if it tears, I embrace it and I move forward. So right there, and that's going to be my base. So I'm going to use my Zyra, my, oh, my wrong tape runner, sorry. How did that get in there? That's not mine, honestly. My Helmar tape runner, quick fix tape runner. There we go. Now I'm going to use this with the, the my tape runner with my little man's picture. And I want to put it right up here. I think I'm going to put this one down first, though, and have it all the way across. Um, maybe I'll cut that inch off on the side. What? Sorry about that. There we go. One inch, cut off. Nice and easy. Is that an emergency? I do too. I actually gave my um, Tim Holtz Distress one away. Um, I mailed it to a girl who didn't have one and really wanted one. mashing it up so it flushes to the left to the right my left and right and now I'll put my picture down and I'm just going to tear off these little pieces I'm going to embrace it now I'm going to take my cardstock and I'm going to cut it into a tag Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll emboss it first so I can show you how I emboss and distress what's embossed. So I'm going to pull out my handy dandy machine and hope that it doesn't fall apart again. And I'm going to pull out my embossing folder, my alphabet one by Cuddlebug. And I'm going to just place my 
coordination's cardstock in here. Nice and easy. It has a great impression on it, if you can see the alphabet. And now I'm going to die cut that with a Tim Holtz tag die. So I want to put this up high enough. I'm not getting a whole tag. I'm only using the small piece right here. And I'm just going to do my stack. I'm going to put a tray underneath and a tray above it and slide it in. And I have my tag. Can you see the embossing on that? Now we're going to make that show through a little bit more with some more distressing. Let me move this out of the way. I have my coordination sand it block. And I'm going to make a mess. So let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to rub it. Can you see this? I'm just rubbing it over the coordination so the core of the coordination paper shows and it distresses my alphabets that I just embossed. And see how that makes that stand out a little bit? I love that folder too. It's one of my favorites. And my tag is going to go right next to my little guy. I think I want to move him. So I'm going to carefully lift this up. Hmm. Do I want him higher? I think I want him lower. Nope. I think I'm good with where he was. I'm a little confused today. Clearly. So I'm putting my tag right next to him. You can see that right there. And now I've distressed my paper with using my scissors and distressed my my tag with the coordinations block. And I'm going to use my Helmar quick fix tape runner on the back of my tag and just sit it right next to here. Now I'm going to take the other picture of my little man And I'm going to I'm going to tuck him down a little bit. No, maybe I'm going to leave him up close too. I can't decide on this. I think I'll put him right next to it because it evenly fills that out. So that's nice. Okay, and at this point I have two more, just extra ones I had tried um, testing out earlier <laughs> um, on how I wanted my layout to go, and I have some leftover pieces, so I'm actually going to use them on this. And I'm just going to take my tags and tuck them in different areas just to give them different colors. And before I lay it down, I'm just going to just stress again, just a little bit on the edges, just enough to give it a little texture. I'm not trying to rip it this time, so I'm using my scissors a little more gently. And I do do them towards me. I probably would be better off doing them away from me, but I don't. You cheer your cupcakes too? I just made cupcakes tonight. I made some lovely cherry limeade cupcakes for the girls, for two of the girls at work. So I'm just pulling this back a little bit. Now when you stick down your adhesive, just be careful because it is pretty stuck. So I have to be careful that I'm not tearing it. 
And I'm going to put that part of the tag right there. Oh, I like that a lot. So I added some more green down here. And I'm going to use some L Studio tags that I got just to accent here and there, um, add some more color, and then I'll figure out where I want to put that rest of that tag in, um, in my title and figure out where our stars are going. So right now I'm just cutting these. I'm not too worried about it be them being even because I'm going to tuck them a little bit. And I want this oh happy day. It's his birthday. It's perfect colors. And I'm just going to accent a little bit. And I think I want this right across here. Maybe I can add the date on that. Nice chevron on that if you can see it. And then I think I want this little journal spot right down here that will match the greens and the blues too. So maybe I will distress these a little bit. It will hide the unevenness of my cut. So just doing the same thing. A little paper. Not, not tearing it up too much. Move that one out of the way and my big one. All right. So maybe I can tuck this underneath here. No, I think I want it here. And then my journaling spot right up there. I'll have to figure that out afterwards. Well, it was easy for me this time because I was trying to complement this one, but normally it does take me a long time too. So I think I'll put these two down where they are and then I can figure out where I want, um, oh, happy day, once I figured the stars, where I put the stars and the title work because we need that. So I'm going to stick my little journaling spot up in the corner. I'm feeling a bit blinded right now, so. Using my tape runner again. place to put the date right across little man and now we're going to use a coordinations cardstock to cut out the stars I already have some cut so I didn't have to do all three colors but I'm going to show you how I used nesting stars to make these hollowed out stars and if you look closely I don't know if you can really tell this but these were also embossed and sanded down to be distressed a little bit So pulling back my handy dandy big shot, I'm going to be using these Sissix stars. Have you seen these? I love these. They're layering. So nice and easy. I think I've told you all before that I tend to do my layering a bit upside down when we do when I do my die cutting. So I want to make sure you can see this and how I'm going to make these stars. I'm using three different size stars and they're going to nest inside each other on the glitter cardstock. So the big one goes first and the second one on top, but I want to make sure that they're kind of evenly spaced. It's a 
just have to move them a little bit. That way you get the, the thickness with the hollowed out stars. And I'm just going to use my scissors to move over this last die cut so I'm not pushing it too hard with my hands. There we go. And then they're evenly spaced. And I'm going to, I tend to put my, my tray down on the bottom first and then lightly put it over so I'm not moving my dies too far. And we have some wonderful stars from here. And look at this, it stays on there. And from this, I have three fantastic glittered stars. My little one. And my two hollowed out ones. And I am actually going to distress those a little bit so um, some of the glitter is off of it. And the, old, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use, and for the life of me I can't remember what they are, but Cheryl will remember what these are. They're fast files, um, file, like um, sanding files. And I use them when I'm sanding down my alphabets in some papers. And all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to sand it a little bit. So it's going to add, take a little bit of the grit off, make it a little more boyish, show some of the cardstock underneath, but still has that nice sheen to it. So if you can see that, it's just kind of dulled it a little bit, but not bad. And you can see a little bit of the white cardstock underneath. And I'm going to do that with all of the green ones. Basic grade distressing kit. Thank you, Cheryl. I knew you would know what it is. I'm doing, and my third one. Now I'm messy. I do tend to sand these things over my layouts. So the, the dust cloth, the buddy that coordinations comes out with is perfect for taking that off. And I'm going to sand the other two. And these are my wonderful stars. And I'm going to place those on my layout as soon as I take the dust bunny buddy to it. So I don't know if you've seen this. And when you pull it out, it feels a little sticky and tacky. I can. That's a cool trick. I didn't know that. So I'm just taking this and I'm wipe, wiping around my pictures and all the extra dust off my layout. The great thing about this is it doesn't leave any marks, doesn't at all. So you can, can you see all the dust that it picked up for me? I, think I need a little bit more right there because the glitter's on it. And I'm going to take my craft and hobby glue and I'm going to use it to put my stars down. You don't need a lot of this. It's a nice sticky white glue, craft glue. I'm going to use this on most of my stars. Um, I have a couple of stars that I want to you give a little pop to, so I'll use my scrap dots for that. So I'm just going to randomly place my stars. I like the white on white. And I think I'll go in the opposite direction that I did on this layout. So if you can see on this layout, I went this way. And on this side, I'm going to go that way a little bit more. I think that'll do. Might drop this down a little bit more. So on the back of my stars I'm just going to put a little dollop of my craft glue. A little dollop and what's nice about this 
is that it will dry clear. So even if it does squeeze out a little bit underneath it, it will dry clear. So I'm just doing the same thing on all the rest of mine. And I'll, if I put a little bit too much on, I'll just spread it with the tip of my, my glue. And it helps me evenly spread that out a little bit. There's no rhyme or reason to the direction I'm putting them, just looks what looks good. And I'm going to save I'm going to save the two big ones for some pop. So I'll use some scrap dots with that. I'm just lightly tapping my paper down so that it adheres. You can see, you just need a light tap. And because I didn't stick this down all the way, the, the paper, it has a little bit of an edge that's lifting up. And with this, all you have to do is tap this down to make it stick. A little tap. Make sure they're all stuck down and none of my corners are coming up. There we go. And the last one. Now I'm going to wait to do the scrap dot stars till later because I have a ten tendency to put my hands in that and flatten them out a little too much for my own good. So was the cupcake worth the wait? I think it was worth the wait. So now I'm going to take some alphabets and I'm going to distress them before I put them down. Hi Cheryl! These are some really old Colorbox um, alphabets, perfect for distressing. I have them in every color. They've been greatly used. I love them an awful lot. Um, they, they came in a big bunch. I probably bought them like five or six years ago. I'm surprised I have any left, but I have this perfect blue left to complement this layout but not quite enough letters to do the whole title in it. So I pulled in some American Crafts um, Thickers, again, one of my loves, and these can also be distressed. And I'm going to distress those again with my um, basic gray file. Thank you for the title again, Cheryl. So worth the wait, question mark. Worth the wait, exclamation point. He definitely thought it was worth the wait. He was very patient, sat there with his hands crossed the whole time, waiting, singing, patiently waiting for that cupcake. And I'm going to leave the center in. Worth the wait. And I'm just mix matching the alphabets, different sizes, because I didn't have enough. And I will have to make some modifications on a letter. The weight. So where's my, I have a W here. Now I don't have an A. Thank you. Um, I don't have an A, so I'm going to take, oh, a Q and make an A out of the Q. So let me finish getting the rest of my letters and then I will show you how I do that. And the letter T. So those are all worth up. Just making sure I have all the right letters here for my blue. And for, for my A, I just took a Q and I'm going to snip it off with my scissors right here. And I have a lovely A now.
So I have worth. Worth the wait. Now I need my American Crafts because I did not have enough H's in the blue. So I'm going to do the part of this in white, which is again complementing the rest of the colors and the other page. And I don't know about you, but sometimes my thickers don't always stick. So it's great that I have my craft and hobby PVA glue. And my exclamation point. So at this time, I'm going to do the same thing I did to my stars. I'm going to use my file and I'm going to just take texture color off of this, add some texture, file down my little marks, and then you can see, can you see where it has taken some of that blue off? I'm just going to do that with all of them. Different directions, adds different flair. A different way of distressing your letters. <laughs> Just a couple more to go. Are you all on what's on your work desk Wednesday? <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, so I've now seen that and I'm going to use the dust buddy one more time because I did make a bit of a mess again. And I'm actually going to use it a little bit on the letters because I want my glue to stick and I don't want all that nasty sanding that I just did underneath there. I want them to stick nicely. And luckily this takes it right off. I'm going to use my craft and hobby glue again to glue my letters down using the same technique as with the stars and just putting it on the back. If I have too much I spread it with my tip and don't squeeze the bottle anymore. Your chat went all the way down up to the top. Okay, and like I said before, I still do use the glue on the back of my thickers because I find that my thickers have a tendency to talk, fall off. I don't know if that's because of the humidity, but luckily that is not an issue with the craft hobby, craft and hobby PVA glue because the humidity does not affect it on my lay, the letters on my layout when I use that. Oh, it's almost done. And my little dotting my eye. Can lift this up and show it to you. Sometimes I think the light is a little off. So this is what we have so far. And 
You want to see a close up of that? I just saw it. Yeah, thank you. So, can you see the letters distressed? Thank you. And actually, the light's getting a little better in here. You can see the, this distressing on my tag a little bit more, too, where the coordination's cardstock shows. And same thing with my star, if I can get it right. There we go, where it took some of this, off, some of the um, glitter off. It showed some of the white, so it all kind of flows. Thank you. So I think right now I just want to add Oh, happy day. So I need to figure out where I want that. I think I might want that here. Can you, can you guys see where I'm sticking it? I think I want to stick it right here. I think so. And I'm going to use my tape runner that I seem to have lost. I'm just going to stick it here. And I need to add my two stars. So it's usually the last thing that I do on a layout is anything. Your hubby is watching. What a brave soul. Hi, Lisa. So um, for the last thing that I'm going to do on this, uh, well, the very last thing is journaling, but I'll add that later on, um, is add my stars to this and the last two stars. But I wait to do the stars. So I think I told you earlier that I have a tendency to put my hand in anything that I've added dimension to. So I'm going to use the scrap dots because I want to give them a little bit of height. So I'm just taking my tips of my stars and adding a little bit of scrap dots. I squeeze it and I pull up. And I didn't clean mine off the last time, which you should clean it off and make sure you have a nice clean spot. And I just kind of, I kind of think of it like a Dairy Queen cur curly cue when I do it. And I do it to the height that I want it. And then I, it's nice and easy. I just pull it up over that way. If it gets a little long, I just pull it up straight. So just the tips. And I'm going to add it. I need my extra hand because it's stuck between the two sides of the star. So if you can see, I added the star and I added some dimension to that. Dairy Queen ice cream, I know, but it doesn't it when you when you do it, it says it's like a Dairy Queen ice cream at the tip. I think I worked there for two days when I was 15. So you just squeeze a little bit and you just add the amount you want for the desired height that you want. And it does take a while to dry so I wouldn't be trying to do anything with these with anything that you've given height to with the scrap dots. I would let it dry overnight to make sure that it <clears throat> is dry all the way. <laughs> I I do like my sweets. And I'm going to add that last star right there. Can you see that? I don't think you can. So right there. I'm letting it focus a little bit. Why is Cheryl's new nickname Snoop? Did I just lose it again? Oh no, this is way better than any other 3D glue. It it goes where I want it. It has a little bit of movement and then it sticks once you let it sit for a while. And what's even it's just great because you can just add more to add more height. Oh, got you. Scrap Dots is the bomb. Okay, so I think the only thing I have left on my layout to do now is any journaling. 
and I will leave that for later on and I will probably use a blue or a green pen to match because I like to color coordinate. So now I have both of my layouts done and I can put them side by side and you'll see how although I did them differently it is a two page spread. Worth the wait? Yes, worth the wait. That was a quick get to gathering for for doing a page tonight, wasn't it? I didn't think it would go that fast. Does anybody have any questions? Thank you. I know, I'm not normally that fast of a scrapper. Another ad? Oh, that's clapping. All right, so for any of you that wasn't weren't here earlier, I just used um, my Helmar products with some coordinations and some Scrap and Sports and more paper. Um, I did use my favorite Scrap Dots, my Helmar Quick Fix Adhesive, and my Craft and Hobby PVA glue, which you all learned is great for the back of American Craft Thickers. It will make them stick even when they don't stick on their own. Um, did I, I just lost my train of thought, sorry. Um, you also learned some really easy ways to distress using scissors and the basic gray file. Um, don't be afraid to use it on your alphabets. <laughs> Don't be afraid to um, tear your paper a little bit, give it some dimension. And it's an easy way to change it up a little bit without creating, um, with still simply scrapping and not making a big, big mess. Is it just one hour to set? Yes, okay, overnight I thought it was to comp completely cure. Yes, they are. Well, thank you everybody for joining me tonight. Sorry, I was tripping over myself a little bit. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any questions? Thank you, Cheryl, you're so supportive. Hey, Vicki. Did you just sneak in there, Vicki? Thank you, guys. She was a snoop in. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the class tonight. If you did not get to see all of it, um, it will be live on Ustream, and I will also put it on um, my blog, um, scissors, spatulas, and sneakers.com. And if you have any questions on where to buy Helmar, helmarusa.com and Helmar, I always get this mixed up, helmar.com.au for if you're buying it in Australia. So um, I highly recommend any of the products that I use tonight. They are my favorites. Thank you so much. Bye.